Welcome. My name is Joseph Nguyen. I'm part of the Spring 2019 MPH team where we work on Miami-Dade's County Vacancy Compliance and we are specifically working on version 2.0. So my partner is Alex. My project manager is Richard. So what is the Miami-Dade County Vacancy Compliance? It aims to compare and correct discrepancies in home information between government records and its own. So the overall reasoning behind this is that not only does the government keep information on the housing units in Miami-Dade, but so does the Miami-Dade County. And there are discrepancies because the government only updates their information annually. So of course, this can lead to many discrepancies. And the problem with this is that Miami-Dade is currently putting in a lot of man hours to keep the government information accurate and by what they currently do is use a lot of man hours by having an employee physically go through every record to check for any discrepancies at any time. So what is our motivation? So right now the problem is that of course as I said before NBC uh, updates their records uh, daily or even weekly and right now the government doesn't have the capability to update it themselves because you know they're doing other things. So Miami-Dade employees shift through records to look for discrepancies, which can lead to human error. An inconsistency in the data could lead to unwarranted deployment of personal and or assigning the same unit to a tenant. So what the Miami-Dade County Vacancy Compliance 2.0 does is right now it's providing a real-time tracker where we're putting, pulling live data from the database um, and doing a diff on it, pretty much comparing the government's records with the Miami-Dade records and our tool helps uh, you know allows employees to find records in a nice easy user-friendly way and also comparing data for them to reduce the amount of human error and man hours that Miami-Dade would need to pour into this. So the current system provides some real-time data and metrics of all housing units in Miami-Dade County. It offers an inside look on unit markets discrepant, grants users the ability to search and filter through units, providing ease of access when viewing thousands of records. And so what they're using right now is something called BI report. And what they're attempting to do is pull away from this BI report by creating their own system. Because, you know, of course, the BI report is provided at a fee. And so what we did was uh, provide, um, rebuild their entire front end in Angular and redid the, some of the software that allows this diff and look that BI report would usually do. So our system design is like this. So we have a back end, uh, we have some models and a controllers and a router. So the IIS layer works as sort of like a gateway where it would pretty much uh, send requests to the right uh, API endpoints. And so HTA, the HTTP request can be delete, get, head. Right now we're mainly using get and post. And the JSON response looks similar to this, which would then go to the front end, which will go to the service layer, component layer, which eventually hits the view layer. Right now the front end is built on Angular, specifically Angular Material Framework. And the back end is an SQL, Lite, Django, and IIS. So here's some of the mockups that we have right now currently. As you can see here, these are charts that currently provide statistical data uh, on live data, current data. And right now, there's not much it's showing. Uh, and it's not that we don't have that data. It's we're just not showing all of that data. Here's an example of the diff that I mentioned of the comparing of records and some of the tables that we recreated in Angular to provide ease of access to look through records. And so the, now we go to the acknowledgement where this is thanks to FIU, which is in collaboration with the Miami-Dade County. Uh, we really want to thank Richard for being our project manager and really helping us get to a place that Miami-Dade would be comfortable using. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of this work that we did. As you can see here, our current elite unit shows the occupied data, miscellaneous data, and vacant. So say right now we see this occupied data is taking such a big number, such a big portion of this chart, it's kind of hard to hover over this vacant. We can go ahead and disable occupy, occupy for a moment and it will still keep the same percentage, 4.43 and 0.89. So the percentage doesn't actually change, but it does give us a better way to view the data. The same here is for the pick units. So what we want to really highlight is this view discrepancy, which is our diff checker. 
and it compares the elite unit to pick unit and it shows a unit status occupied and a unit tenant status as vacant. Here we have two units having conflicting statuses. Now we still have the BI report here for the from version 1.0 that they can still use if they're not comfortable with moving on yet. And here we also have the new tables that we created based on Angular. And so of course if they wanted to look up a certain record, we can look up a certain record. Uh, so I say here we have FL0054824 of some sort. Uh, right now there's probably others like that. So or or we can provide a filter and provide bedroom say I want to see two. Now what we can also do is simply sort on these headers, any of these headers, and we can sort it in ascending, descending order, and we can do the same thing in the pick unit detail. It's the same it's the same functionality for both tables, just providing different data. Now we also have an upload function where we can also upload an Excel sheet if we want it. So right now it automa automatically filters, it grays out anything that's not of the correct extension. So that's very handy. And we also have the profile for the user. So thank you for watching.